Let's take a look at a little bit of a trick in Camtasia 2020. I call it a center reveal. If you've seen some of the TechSmith tutorials, you may have noticed this rather cool title intro where the text animates in from the center of the resulting phrase. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can do this effect in Camtasia 2020 using track mats. This is great for title text animations. You can use it for single words, multiple words, or single line sentences. Let's get started. Here in Camtasia 2020, I'm going to use a two word phrase as my sample and demo. Basically my name and kind of a cool little branding asset. Let's jump to the beginning of the project and I'll set this up a little bit. I'm going to go to the Annotations tab and on Callouts, I'm just going to add a text callout. Right click, Add to Timeline at Playhead. Now I want to kind of format this the way that I want, so I'm going to double click and I think I'll use a chunkier font. Let's choose Arial Black. I'm going to bump it up in size a bit and I'm also going to increase the width of this text box so that it's rather nice and wide. And for maximum versatility, I'm also going to uncheck the auto resize text. If I want to reuse this later, this will make things a little bit cleaner and easier to change the asset and use different text. In the properties, I'm also going to left justify this piece of text. Next, with the asset selected on the timeline, I'm going to control C to copy and control V to paste make a duplicate copy of this text box. And on the top copy here, I'm going to right justify it. And I'm also going to grab it and just move it up above the lower text so I can line things up here in the next step. I'm going to take this copy and I'm going to drag it to the right until it snaps into the center right here. I'm going to grab the bottom copy and do the same thing, only go to the right until it snaps and then grab the top guy again and bring it down into place. Now I'm basically ready to put the text that I want in these boxes. So for the first part, put my first name and on the second box, my last name or your second part of the text. And I think for this one I'll also double click just add a little splash of color here is the design element. Now of course here I could put a space as you might normally do for a two word phrase but again this is kind of a branding thing, a design thing. I'm going to leave the space out because that's the look that I'm going for. I'm going to select them both and just kind of move it over towards the middle a little more. And now we're ready to start working on our track mats. And to do that, I'm going to use a little Camtasia hack here. On the bottom track, I'm going to right click and insert a track above. Let's move this up a little bit. I'm going to click on the bottom piece of text, the playhead at the very beginning, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and that will put a duplicate copy of the text box on the track right above. And what we're going to do is cover up this text with a rectangle callout. So we could go to callouts here under shapes and drop one of these guys in, but I actually have one in my favorites that I've made a yellow color just because it's easy to see and work with as a mask. So here's the trick. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it down to the duplicate text box and watch what happens when I let go it assumes the same properties of size and shape as my text box that I copied. If I just were to grab a shape and drop it, you notice that well, it's not the right size to properly cover the text, which is what we want. And I'd end up having to do all kinds of resizing and stuff. This little hack makes that unnecessary and rather handy dandy. So let's do that to the top copy here as well. I don't have to insert a track in this case. I'm just going to control C, control V to paste, and repeat that. Put another shape covering up that piece of text. Okay, so this is basically what we have so far. 
So these shapes are going to be our alpha mats. Let's set those up. On the top shape, I'm going to right click on the track icon here and set the mat to alpha. When I do that, what happens is whatever is underneath the shape will be revealed. Well, what's underneath the shape is the text and the background. Let's do the same thing on the second shape. Change that to alpha. And now we're ready to start animating. I'm going to move the playhead in probably towards the center somewhere. I just want to have enough room for my animation to happen. I'm going to click on the text box, hold my control key and select both text boxes. Let's go to animations and I'm going to drop a custom animation. So here at the playhead is basically where the animation stops or is finished. So I'm going to move the playhead to the keyframe that is the beginning of the animation. And let's click on this top one first. Now I'll just change the position properties of this by moving this to the right and notice what happens as I do that. It starts to disappear because it's now outside of the mask shape. And then I'm going to lock this shape track, click on the second text animation and move this to the right. If you don't lock the track, sometimes you end up grabbing those shape instead and you'll hose yourself up. Okay, we can unlock that now and I'll hold my control key to select both the animations and then just pull them to the beginning or make them last as long as I want. Make that little adjustment. I'm going to go for about a second. Move the playhead to the beginning and now we can preview our awesome animation. And one other trick we can do is I'm going to click on the text box here and on the animations tab I'm going to add a restore animation which is basically going to reverse the animation that we just did. So it's going to make it disappear. Let's put that to the end and then repeat that process on the other piece of text and pull that in and preview. Now we can do a little bit of cleanup. Let's highlight and select the top two tracks, which is our text and shape. Right click and group and turn off the track mat. When we group them, you notice that the track mat still exists because it is incorporated inside of the group. And let's do the same for the second piece. Right click group or control G. Right click and turn off the alpha mat. Drop this guy down a track and at this point basically we're finished. Since the assets are grouped we can of course select them both, move them around if we want, or something else that might be kind of interesting. I'm going to click this one and just move it up and now I've kind of created an entirely different effect. So track mats are pretty awesome. You can do some really wonderful animations and things with them. I hope you found that useful. Hey, Lon Naylor here. Thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments below. I answer all of them personally. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.